Well, I was just telling our lovely moms on the go that Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I just love that there's no obligation to buy gifts. And now is the perfect time to teach your kids what it is to be a gracious and thankful person. So our moms join us with some advice. Lisa Harst, Molly Pearson, and Allie Dar. Hi, ladies. Are you excited for Thanksgiving? Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Molly, Molly. Like, Molly, uh -uh. not so much. I've always loved Thanksgiving because there's just no, uh, you can just hang out, watch football, eat food. You don't have to like, you know? Yeah, that's, that's what right. I love about it. Well, I was saying, you know, usually every year I cook, and so this is the first year that I, um, I'm, a, I'm actually copying an apple pie that Allie is famous nice. for. Oh, so that's really good. Famous. Yeah. So I that's, love it. that's all I have to make. So maybe this year I'll enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, it's not, you don't have to put a like, crazy amount of work in yeah. it. So let's talk about things that you can do with your kids tomorrow. That, to really teach them what it means to be thankful for the life that they've been given. And you have a little game that oh, you Oh, this is actually a family game. Since oh, okay, great. At dinner, nobody knows what to talk about. And <laughs> you know, this politics aren't really a topic. So this is just um, <laughs> a game that we'll put on our Facebook page. Um, it's a game that you can print out and make it turn. Okay. But anyways, it just has random questions like, what is one thing you wish you had discovered? Mm -hmm. So just topic starters to get the conversation that's going. That's a great idea. Fun, yeah. So we'll put this on our Facebook page for people oh, to print great. out. that's great. And so like some of them are like, name five things you would take uh, to a desert island. Um, if parents could switch places with kids for a day or kids switch places with parents, what would you do? A lot of good ideas there. I always like to, on um, Thanksgiving, my family still laughs at me because I'm 32 years old and I'm like, let's go around the table and say what we're thankful for. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah, I think it's really, really important. This is. is the one holiday is, yeah. where there's time to really do that kind of stuff around the table. Yeah. So, you know, just ask your kids what are they thankful right. for. and. It's, I think that's a good idea. I like that idea. Well, yeah. I think, you know, when we were kind of looking at how do you teach your kids to be thankful, because mm -hmm. young kids, you have to teach them. I mean, they're not born with empathy, mm -hmm. right. you know, so really you need to lead by example if they're really young, mm -hmm. and, and it doesn't hurt to, you know, let them see you being thankful for things, mm -hmm. and I think going around the table and, you know, helping them recognize how much they have and, you know, how some people have so little is, is definitely a good lesson. Very true, very true, very well said. Lisa, what about you tomorrow? Are you cooking dinner No, I've cooked twice, so this time I'm not at all, which is actually nice. We're just going to my in-laws, so yeah. we don't have to go two places. It's actually really relaxing. We're going early in the day, so we can just relax. And with Colton, like Molly said, he's two and a half, so we were like teaching him what to say to be thankful for. You know, like going mm -hmm. through a list of things he has, and then you're like, so tomorrow hopefully he can say a few things. And it's just cute, because again, you have to teach him or he's not just gonna be like, oh, I'm thankful for, yeah, you know. Exactly. So if we give him a few options and then tomorrow at the table, we'll see what he says. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm thankful for I'm toys. Like, yeah. 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 You're like, please say mom, please mom. say mom. Yeah. Parents, yeah. parents. <laughs> I love it, and Allie, what about you tomorrow? Are um, you cooking No, all day? we're not cooking. We're cooking Saturday, okay. so I'm putting it off till Saturday. All right, <laughs> a lot of good off. ideas. And I, I, yeah, definitely post that on the um, WNW Moms on the Go Facebook page some good ideas for your kids to make tomorrow a very meaningful day. You know, a lot of people are thinking about Thanksgiving, but a lot of people are thinking already about Black Friday. Our moms are going to give us some advice on how to make that a very successful day out. Now, you two, you are into Black Friday shopping. Is this what I'm understanding? I'm. Well, this one is. <laughs> I totally, I love it. Is that something that you grew up doing? Like, yeah, we've, I'm always gone. My sisters have okay. always gone. I mean, we think it's so, I just think it's fun. People think I'm crazy, but I think it's fun. <laughs> Do I, you, I've, I've never been. been. Oh, okay. I'm making Molly go. Yeah, oh. she's been talking about this for almost a year. So. Are you guys going to stand in line? Are oh, you yeah. that die hard oh. about it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't. She might. <laughs> I'm going to wait in the car. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. So do you take your kids with you? No. No. Absolutely not. Okay. That would be horrendous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are not happening. And I think when people take their kids, I don't like that. I'm waiting in line and I see little kids and I feel so bad. Yeah. So so are you going to like kids stores yeah. or are you kind of focusing more on you on Black Friday? No, I'm not. <laughs> There's like specific items that I need that I know are going to be on sale. Okay. And so like I'm redoing my son's bedroom mm -hmm. and I know that there's a couple mattress sales and there's a couple um, like so bedroom So you've done furniture. your research. Do you, is that kind of your advice for Black Friday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Know where you're gonna go, like, because I think some people just probably pick their favorite store and they're like, well, we'll just see what they have. But you're oh, thinking, yeah. <laughs> go and know what you're looking for. I yeah. think you have to be, especially I've gone every year, and it's like people are crazy. Honestly, every year I have a little note card up for each store and what I'm getting. <laughs> because when you get there, you're either gonna forget or you're gonna get sidetracked by all these <laughs> That's things. That's organization. I like or, that. That's good. Or, or you're gonna get in there and there's not gonna be any left. So I feel like, especially if you're gonna wait in line for two hours or longer, you need to know what you're getting. Yeah. 
California. Okay. Everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Molly, that'll so, be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I look forward to hearing the story next I week. I go to Toys R Us every year. Okay. Because I get with kids things for Colton. You know, they have like mass, you know, like something really big, like a train table, things that are always mm -hmm. on sale. Or like um, those ride-on cars. You know, th there's a lot of things that are really marked down. And, and it's this, just fun. Well, and this year, like the first 200 families into Toys R Us mm -hmm. get a free bag of toys that's worth like, I, I think it's 30 or $60 or something. So, you know, I mean, there's a lot of incentives to get people out there, but I think for me, <laughs> I'm already noticing that online, everything's already started. Yeah. So for me, there's specific things that I'm going to go get that I wouldn't order online. Right. And then everything else, I'll probably just shop online. There you go. Okay, Allie, <laughs> I'm not, not a big shopper. No, on I'm an online shopper, yeah. and I want to stay away from the crazy people. <laughs> um, but I do have advice <laughs> from them, too. No, I have advice. Um, if you get your gift cards ahead of time, mm -hmm. Giant Eagle gives 20 cents. They're going to be giving 20 cents off per gallon for every $50 you spend. So oh, if you great. stop there first, yeah. they have free donuts and um, coffee, I think, that morning till 7 a.m. So oh, nice. You that can get free gas, advice. great yeah. prices. I think Kroger's... Got Very a similar good. deal too. Yeah. They're giving like four times the points when you buy gift cards there or something. Okay. So I like I'll that. I'm gonna stack up all my gift cards and then go wait in line. Why? Well, well, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And she's leaving we'll dinner some. early. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, turkey's great. I she's actually, later. I think it's. I, I don't know. I don't like that all the sales start early because I think that takes the fun out of it. Yeah. Like I don't want to go. Like on, I want, yeah, yeah, I'd rather go at two or three in the morning. I don't want to go on Thanksgiving at eight o'clock. All right. Our WNW moms on the go. Find their Facebook page, of course. I appreciate you guys and happy Thanksgiving. We are so thankful that you guys are on our show.